One thing we also see a lot in the AHL every season are PTOs and ATOs, uh, professional triad, uh, tryouts and amateur tryouts. Um, but it seems that seems to be all the general public really knows about them is like, it's a tryout agreement. But can you elaborate a little bit more on what they entail, uh, what their limits are, who you can give them to, what benefit that gives the player, the team, that kind of thing? Well, amateur tryout is what it is. It's amateur. Uh, you're not supposed to be paying the player. So it's an amateur tryout. So there's not a pro. Uh, that's the that's the difference in it. And for it's for uh, a, a junior kid, uh, that say a Carolina draft pick, he's 18 years old after his junior year is over, he can come play the playoffs for us and go back to junior because he came here as an amateur and he'll leave as an amateur and uh, go back to junior. Um, a PTO is, uh, is basically – during the season, you bring somebody in. Like if I call somebody from the East Coast League, that's that's not that's an East Coast League contract. I put them on a PTO. I don't sign them to a standard player's contract, which would uh, bind bind me for the whole year of having them under contract. A PTO, uh, it's for twenty five games, and I can release them whenever I feel fit, and I can send them back down. So if I needed, you know, if I was short a player, and I and I called my affiliate and and. Uh, said, I need this player, bring him in. I'll put him on a PTO and, you know, it could be a game or two or it could be five games later and I send him back to my affiliate uh, and I just release him from his PTO. Uh, PTOs are beneficial for the teams because they get to have the player and get a look at them. Um, but after 25 games, you can put them on another one, but most of the time after 25 games, you're going to flip them to a standard uh, player's contract. And, and again, you know, players that are done their college uh, career, They'll come in and we'll put them on a, a PTO for the rest of the season um, and they get paid. And then usually uh, it'll flip to a standard uh, player's contract uh, the next year. But, um, it, it, you know, the ETO is an amateur and a PTO is pro. Wendell, I swear you're reading off of our outline and you don't even have access to it. We're just, <laughs> <Don't>. <laughs> we're just, we're plugging along. We're sagging pretty well from one category to the next. Standard player contracts, you know, every off season we see these contracts get announced uh, that were signed a long time ago, sometimes up to half a season ago. What's the reason for the delay in the announcements? Uh, is it all a marketing thing or is there kind of a hoppy, ho hockey ops reason to it? Well, there's a few reasons. Um, Sometimes the, the agreements, you got a verbal agreement that you can't put down on paper because it's not free agency yet. Um, I've, you know, I know that happens out there. Uh, but, you know, sometimes when you put guys on NHL contracts, the NHL team doesn't have enough contracts until July 1st. You know, they've, they have a 50 uh, contract limit. And you look at, if you, if, if you see during the season, a lot of teams are 47, 48, 49, some are right at 50. They don't have contracts. So they got to wait to some some contracts expire. You know they don't uh, uh, they don't qualify some players. Some players you know are end up getting traded. So the the contracts you got to wait to a certain time to let uh, contracts expire so they can announce those. Some teams hold on and, and keep it quiet because they're trying to negotiate with player B and they don't want player A to know what player B, you know, <laughs> let them know what he's getting uh, so they can do comparables. And, the, you know, there's a few GMs in the NHL I know that hold on and they don't announce their, their for quite a while until they get all their players done. So uh, players can't play off each other when they're negotiating. But um, And some of it is, you know, just the, the timing. It's uh, what's a good time to get some uh, media coverage of it. Uh, you know, we've had things happen here in Chicago. You know, we were going to announce something, and the Cubs won the <laughs> won <clears throat> won the World Series. So, okay, we're putting that off for a couple of weeks. You know, different things happen. Uh, you know, uh, something big happens with one of those other sports entities, or or just generally something big in the world. You got to hold off for a while and let the dust settle. And you know, we we we've picked a, a Monday or a Tuesday because because it's quiet time for all the other sports sometimes, and uh, we're able to get some uh, traction out of it at a certain time.